I'm here to talk with you about CyberRev. CyberRev is a new word, an abbreviated word, for Cybernetic Beingness Revival. It's a project of the TerraSAM movement to try to preserve and revitalize human life for time immemorial. CyberRev is implemented via the website CyberRev.org. And at this website, our goal is to capture the mannerisms, personality, recollections, feelings, beliefs, attitudes, and values of as many people as possible, store this information, transmit this information into the cosmos, and ultimately have it combined with mindware that will allow the individuals to be revitalized and continue to live in a joyful immortality. The way CyberRev works is that we have a number of different tools that help us capture different dimensions of beingness. These tools include what are called Bainbridge modules, which are a vast array of public domain psychological type of test questions that have been scientifically validated to accurately elicit and capture an individual's personality. In addition, we have various types of continuous and semi-continuous uh, indicia of a person's beingness, such as digital video, photographs, diary entries, copies of important um, documents in their life. And all of these documents can be captured on our on our website, cyberev.org, where they are stored in a database um, that is visitable by the individual or their friends. And with their permission, we continuously stream all of the content about each individual via satellite uplink station out into the cosmos to be preserved forever. The CyberRev um, project is something that's meant to be accessible to all people and it's a free service uh, made available as a public charity by the TerraSAM movement. So any individual with access to a computer can participate in CyberRev, can deposit parts of their beingness through these Bainbridge psychological test measures and other types of uh, indicia of beingness, photographs, audio recordings, we have other types of tests, such as online Rocharche tests that an individual can complete. Online, what does this picture mean to you, where we have hundreds of thousands of photographs that people give their reactions to. Also, individuals' friends can comment about them, so you see yourself through the eyes of others. And then all of this information is transmitted up into the cosmos. Now I'd like to emphasize that there's no upper limit on the number of people that can participate in CyberRev. Our goal would be for every single person alive to deposit their beingness so that the full diversity and unity of the human species and human consciousness can be saved, collected, and transmitted for dispersal throughout the cosmos. There are three important reasons why people would want to participate in CyberRev. First, they would realize that their consciousness is precious. It's something that doesn't exist anywhere else on Earth or anywhere else in the cosmos. And why allow something so precious like that to disappear in any kind of a mass extinction event due to a volcano or an astrophysical collision with the Earth? So people will first of all want to preserve what is precious. Second reason is that all of us are subject to the survival instinct that applies to all forms of life. Every form of life tries to survive. Up until now, it was only possible to survive in part by passing on one's genes to the next generation. But the TerraSAM movement believes that our beams are much more important than our genes. Our beams are our units of beingness, our individual uniqueness. And we believe by passing our beams on via CyberRev, we can achieve the um, quest for survival that is inherent in every form of life. The third reason why we want to participate in CyberRev is to be a part of the collective consciousness that results from the pooling 
of all of our personalities, memories, um, beliefs, attitudes, and values into a single stream of consciousness that emanates out from the earth as part of a vast shell. Why would one not want to be part of this beautiful wavefront of humanity that will eventually take up residence throughout the cosmos? I'd like to emphasize that CyberRev is on a very brisk schedule. Um, I could say it's a little bit uh, like a crash project. And for example, our goal is by the end of 2006 to have the first CyberRev capability up and operating and to rapidly expand our capability in terms of the scope of personality capture that we can accomplish and the breadth of cosmic dispersion that we can provide. Every year we will move more and more aggressively. The reason it has to be a, a fast, high speed, almost crash project is because we never know when at any moment all consciousness can be extinguished through an asteroidal collision, a cometary collision, a supernova explosion, a gamma ray burst, a mega uh, nuclear uh, holocaust that could wipe out life, a biologically engineered virus that uh, wipes out life, a mega volcano. There are, we live in a dangerous universe. One of the main reasons why we've not been able to detect any other intelligent life in the universe is, as Carl Sagan pointed out, it probably has been extinguished before it got to the stage that we're at. We are the precious one that has reached this stage of consciousness and it's obligatory upon us to do all we can to preserve and disperse this consciousness before we fall victim to the dangers of living on a pale blue dot in a very dangerous astrophysical neighborhood. I'm interested in CyberRev because I'm a lover of life, I'm a lover of humanity, I've been honored to participate in exciting projects during my life. Several years ago, I started some satellite communication systems, the Sirius satellite radio system, the World Space satellite radio system, the Pan AmSat communication system, the Geostar satellite navigation system. By starting these satellite navigation and communication and broadcasting systems, I was able to become abundantly aware that we have an amazing tool in our hands and that is every time we transmit a signal to a satellite it continues outward into space forever. And I began to think why not use this satellite communications capability to save, send the consciousness of the human species out into space forever so that all of us can be preserved and have a chance to continue living our life forever after.